Welcome to CAD Tutorials and in this video I'll be covering practice problems that we're going to turn. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and if you like this video, just go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Let's get right into the question. So given the circuit, we are asked to find VFT for time greater than zero and VFT at time equals to 0 0.5. And this section is called step response of an RC circuit. And the general formula for the response of such a circuit is V of T is equal to V at infinity plus V zero at time zero. Subtract V at infinity multiplied by E to the power minus T divided by the time constant. And all of this is in volts because this is voltage which you're talking about. So now let's proceed to look at this particular problem and see how we can actually solve this. Let me try to change this pen because I don't think it's quite visible. Okay, so moving on. We are first going to find this V0. So as we can see, this switch is actually closed at time equals to zero, which means it was open otherwise. So only look at this side of the circuit for the first part for time less than zero. We look at the left part because this part is not part of the circuit at that point. So you're going to have this voltage source of 15 volts. Then we're going to have this 2 ohm resistor over here. Then here we're going to have an open circuit because a capacitor is an open circuit to DC. Which means our initial V or V just before 0, which is also equals to B just after 0, it's equals to 15 volts. There isn't any current flowing through here. So this voltage source is essentially in parallel with that V. And therefore, that will be the value of your capacitor at time equals to zero. So we have that. Check. So now let's move on to time greater than zero. This is fading as well. Let me try another pen, the one which I started with. So time greater than zero, which is over there. Now, this is our new circuit. Now we're going to close this particular switch over here, which means the right part of the circuit is now going to be part of our circuit. So, we're going to have plus minus, we're going to have 15 volts over here. Then we're going to have 2 ohms over here. Then we're going to have an open circuit because the capacitor is open to DC. Then we are going to have 6 ohms over there. Then we are going to have this voltage source over here. So now this circuit is going to help us to find V infinity as well as the time constant, right? So let's proceed to find these two. To find V infinity, we are going to label the current which is across this circuit as I. And we're going to say negative 15 plus 2I plus 6I negative 7.5 is equal to 0. Then we're going to find the current, which is I, which we label to be I. So we're going to have that. And that is going to amount to 22.5, I think. And that is exactly it, I think, because 7 plus 5 is 22, plus 5, this is 22.5. So 22.5 is going to come on this side of the, of the equation. And we're going to have I is equal to 2.8125 amperes. So that is our current which is going through the circuit. And we're now going to use this to find our V, which corresponds to V infinity. So we're going to go in this small loop over here to find that. So we are going to say negative 15 plus 2 multiplied by I, then plus V. So negative 15 plus 2I plus V infinity is equal to 0. You can alternatively start here and say negative V plus 6I negative 7.5 is equal to 0, and you are going to absolutely get the same answer. So this is 2i, which is negative 15, and we have this, which we are trying to find, and this is i over here. So just substitute this i, which you found over here, and your v infinity is going to be equal to 15, subtract 2i, and your v infinity is going to be 9.375 volts. So we now have these values and we are going to proceed to find 
RTH with respect to the storage element, which is going to help us to find our time constant. So to find RTH, we take out all the independent sources. And you'll see that we now have the two ohms and the six ohm in parallel because they share this node and this whole node over here. So they share two nodes and therefore in parallel. So RTH with respect to the capacitor is two in parallel with six, which is going to be two multiplied by six divided by two plus six, which is eight. And we're going to have four over there, we're going to have one over there. And here we are going to basically divide by two. And our answer is going to be three over two, which is equal to 1.5 ohms, right? So that 1.5 ohms is the value of our resistance with respect to a capacitor. Now for an RC circuit, the time constant is equal to RC, as you know by now. And our R is 1.5, which is the same as 3 over 2. And the value of our capacitor is given to us in the question is 1 over 3 farads. So 1 over 3 farads. So that's going to cancel out. And therefore, our time constant is going to be 1 over 2, which is the same as 0 0.5 seconds right so that is that we now have all the values and all that's left is for us to substitute all these values into the general formula which are introduced in the start so let's do that so now let's let's just do it down here so we have a clear picture of what i'm doing so v of t is equal to v infinity we found our v infinity over here to be 9.3 9.375 volts. So we're going to substitute that in there. 9.375 plus, then we have V of 0, which is over here, V of 0, which is the initial condition which we found previously as 15 volts over here. That's going to be 15. Then we're going to subtract this V infinity, which is 9.3, the same, 9.375. Then we're going to have E to the minus T divided by the time constant of 0.5. And our final answer is just a simplification of this bracket as well as this exponent over here. And therefore, V of T is going to be equals to 9.375 plus 5.625 e to the minus 2t in volts for time greater than zero. And that is how you basically solve this particular problem.